Hello and welcome to today's briefing. This is Leanne at the National Weather Service in Missoula. I'll be leading you through the next few days worth of weather and associated impacts. So let's go. Uh, it's not a real difficult period of forecast, um, forecast period rather. There will be periods of light snow pretty, pretty often followed by brief dry periods as well. Seasonable temperatures, can't complain about that. Highs in the upper 30s to low 40s. And then Saturday through Monday will be what we're looking at is to be our possibly next big system. Um, there's moderate confidence that past level snow will occur while we have low confidence in valley snow and I will get to all that when we get there. So let's talk about the light snow first. Uh, we had a little bit of light snow this morning, Monday morning, and we're expecting another round of light snow this evening through Tuesday morning. And um, you can see here that in the higher terrain there's going to be some higher amounts of snow, but overall for valleys and populated areas and for well-traveled roadways, we're looking at about one to two inches maybe. Um, there's a potential that bands could form. Now anytime that bands form, these amounts will go up in localized specific regions. So, you know, Stevi could have three inches, Missoula could have half an inch, just as an example. We're not expecting that, but just as, as an example. So. Um, Anytime we get the potential for banding, the numbers get a little wonky, but this is what we're forecasting for currently through Tuesday morning. The next round of snow is just a little bit heavier, Thursday evening through Friday, so it'll probably occur after sundown on Thursday and persist through the day Friday. So really these amounts aren't all that great, but some places in valley locations could see two, three inches like in Big Fork, West Glacier, you know, one to two inches around the Mission and Flathead, Southern Flathead. And then down around an inch or two in the Missoula, Hamilton, Butte, Sealy Lake, that corner. As you get into the mountainous terrain along the Idaho and Montana border, you start to see slightly higher amounts of four to six inches over Lookout Pass. And then uh, Highway, or I-90, excuse me, through Superior could see a few inches as well. And over Lolo Pass down to Lowell. So some of the higher valleys you could see a few inches and the mountain passes, which also includes Marais Pass. Um, could see a couple more inches. So overall, not a huge amount of snow, but just enough to be a nuisance. And then the Saturday through Monday period, I figured I'd split it up into what we know and what we don't feel so great about. So <clears throat> on the left, what do we feel good about? And even then, it's not that great. We're expecting a wetter and more active period to persist from Saturday through Monday. We feel somewhat good that moderate mountain pass snow will occur. Right now, if we go out and start calculating things, it, it, the estimated forecast is around 9 to 12 inches, and the best focus of those snow accumulations are along the Montana-Idaho border. But again, if you look at the confidence wheel here, if you will, it's not even that great a confidence. So we're still, we're still investigating this. What's possible but we have low confidence in is that there could be accumulating valley snow. Again, if we were to calculate what we're looking at currently, we've got about 2 to 4 inches mainly across northwest Montana, and quite a bit less than that further south. Again, very low confidence in this. Heavy mountain snow, so over a foot, maybe up to two feet possible, and the duration of this could last well into Monday. So again, low confidence in this, but the potential is there. We'll have way more details come Thursday, which is our next impact briefing, but here's how the weather threat matrix shakes out. Got a whole lot of yellow, and most of it for snow. Mostly light snow, periodic nuisance-like snow, with periods of sun and clouds, breaks, drier periods in between. Saturday looks like mostly a snow at mountain pass type deal for north central Idaho, northwest Montana, and west central Montana. But then it becomes more widespread Saturday night into Sunday. So um, mainly everywhere's got at least the chance for low, low impacts from snow, but that kind of stuff can get annoying and can make for tricky morning commutes. So wanted to alert you to that. The six to 10 day outlook, um, which is actually only a few starts a few days away, still wet and still below normal for temperatures or at least around or ab below normal temperatures. And that's the summary and that is it for us. Join us on Thursday. We'll have more details about that Thursday, Friday system and of course the Saturday through Monday system. Thank you.